Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new around here, my name's Danielle and I'm an Essex-based mum of one to a little boy named Leo who's almost four. Now, I have if you've been on my channel before, you may have noticed I've not posted in a little while and if you have watched my videos before, you probably know that I was due to move house. Now, as you can probably tell, we have finally moved, hence my absence for a few weeks. Um, I was going to film some of the move and some of the renovations because we have literally not stopped since we moved in a couple of weeks ago um, but it's just been so stressful that I just didn't pick up the camera so I apologise for that. Um, but today I wanted to share with you my top tips for travelling with a toddler or young child. To be honest a lot of these you could stretch to our older children as well. We've only ever been on an aeroplane once with Leo but I was so prepared and planned for it it went really really well and we are actually going on holiday very soon so I'm preparing for it again but we have done a lot of very long car journeys and um, ferry journeys and that kind of stuff with Leo before so I feel like we're quite well travelled in that aspect with him of it being quite uncomfortable sometimes you know being a long journey so yeah put all my little tips together and I thought I would share them with you okay so the first one I'm going to start with is like your your travel bag as such. Now at the moment we use the trunky. This works really well for us. If you're going in a car, this fits really nice on the floor space in front of their car seat. It doesn't block anything. Their feet don't even touch it to be honest and it just doesn't take up too much room. Now we're going to be taking this one to the airport this year. Leo likes to pull it along so that makes it quite easy for us because we will also be carrying quite a lot of luggage. Um, there is another item that actually I really cannot wait to purchase for him, but he's only just getting to grips with a scooter. And that is the little, um, they're like mini cases that you can take on, but they've got scooters that flip out of them. So they can obviously scoot around the airport, like going in and carrying their own case at the same time. And then when you're there, they can obviously put their beach stuff or pool stuff in it. And then they've got a scooter to use whilst you're away. So I think they're absolutely amazing. But just to be honest, Leo's just not quite ready for one of those just yet. But I think next year, he'll definitely be ready for one of those. So the trunky will be coming with us as Leo's hand luggage. Now the, the kind of obvious one that we'll be taking with us which I'll make sure is fully charged. He's got some headphones that go on with him that are like obviously designed for children so they can't go too loud. We've got them on Amazon. Um, we're gonna make sure that he's got all of his favorite games and everything downloaded on here. Just check it before we go um, so that we're not gonna have any tears kind of when he can't play his favorite things. But yeah, the Amazon Kindle we're gonna be using. And we absolutely love this to be honest. There's loads of little maths games. I'll find out the names of them on here. Um, and like really good educational games that Leo's been playing and it's just brought him on leaps and bounds. I mean, he's not even a school age child yet, but he's already doing simple maths just through doing it on here. So I'll share the name names down below of those games because they've been really, really good. The next thing I'm going to be taking is one of these, well, to be honest, we really take a couple of them, but the Water Magic books. Now this is, or this one's Aqua Magic. This one is the Gruffalo one. So you have like coloring pages um, and you get a little pen of it that you can fill with water. The good thing is, once they dry, they go back to white again. So they all goes like lovely coloured pictures kind of thing. Um, the first one we got of these actually is from Flying Tiger. And they're obviously like non-character themed, but they're also very, very good. Now with Leo, I do find, <clears throat> excuse me, the little pens that come with this a little bit rough and can sometimes scratch the paper because he's not very gentle so what i will normally take with mine is a little paintbrush like a really fine paintbrush um, and then i'll just put like a little cap of water or something on the side or a cup of water and he'll just dip it in that and do it so he loves these we always take these to restaurants with us um because they are completely mess free um, and he absolutely loves them so i'll be taking some of those for the plane journey and then I've also actually picked these up from Flying Tiger the other day. There's some sticker books, which Leo does prefer. Um, so they're really like quirky ones. This one is literally like you make faces, basically, on all the different objects. You've got all of the <clears throat> all of the stickers at the back, so you can make the faces on them. I thought he would really enjoy that one. So we've got that one, and I also got this one. I think they're about four pounds, these books, but you do get a lot in them where you dress like all the different animals. But again, at the back, you've got all the stickers and you can kind of choose what you want to dress them in. I feel like they're quite gender neutral. So I was really pleased with that. Um, and he will love these. Um, 
hotel journey. You won't be able to do the whole lot on one trip. So obviously we're always trying to think of the journey back as well. Uh, the next thing I've got is a little pencil thing that I thought I would share. This one is from Primark, but I think you can get them on Amazon as well. This one was only £1.50, so it is like a little case you can literally pop in your handbag. Um, or obviously for this one, it'll be going in here's a little trunky. And that has got lots of coloured pencils in there. So I'll just take a little colouring book as well. This is a little extra or some paper and he can do some drawing as well. And it keeps them kind of all neat and in there. The next thing I would say to take is a pack of wipes. Also put a couple of packs of wipes um, in your case for the way home, just in case you do use them, we want them whilst you're out there. Leo is fully toilet drained, but just in case of like sticky hands, you just want to clean them down, give them a wipe over or something on a plane, always be prepared. That brings us on to spare clothes. So I'll always take two pairs of spare clothing with us for the journey just in case of any spillages or something like that. And I'll also put in one of Leo's holiday outfits and one pair of like swimwear, just in case anything happens to the cases. And um, just we've got something to put him in anyway. My next little like hack thing I've got with you is taking your own water bottle. Now, obviously you will not be able to get liquids through at an airport, but if you take an empty water bottle through, I will take one for each of us. Um, when you get to an airport, there is always like a water fountain that you can fill up with drinking water. So when you get through security, you can take out your refillable bottles and you can fill them all up. Not only is this a really good like money saving tip as well, because buying a bottle of water on an aeroplane is A, really expensive. Um, and B, it just takes it like you might want to drink straight away and you might be sat right in the middle of the plane. And by the time they get to you, you're just waiting like over an hour before you've even got a drink. So I'll always do that. So I'll take three. I'll take like Leo's one and myself and my husband's one. Um, and then yeah, we'll just fill them up when we got, get through security. The next thing I would say to take is lots and lots and lots of snacks. Now I normally go for either some of the ones from Aldi, so Leo's favorite are these, but I also like to stock up on the Kidalicious little snacks. They're quite a treat for Leo because we don't get them at home. So we get like the veggie straws, smoothie melts, the little laces and stuff like that. And I always buy a double, put half in the case. So I've got them for the return journey as well because you often find that you prepare for the outward journey, then everything's gone by the time you obviously get there or, and like while you're away. And then on the way back, you've got nothing. So I've always make sure I've got the return stuff as well. I will also be packing Leo a packed lunch. So I'll do him um, like a little sandwich and stuff like that. Um, with Leo's allergies, I can guarantee there will be nothing that is suitable for him on an airplane. Um, also, it's really expensive, the food on there, and it's really not very nice. So I'd rather him have something that I know he's going to eat and that it's safe for him to eat. I will put that in some Tupperware, um, and that can also be really great for whilst you're away. If we were at like an all-inclusive, which we are this time, I can just pick him up some fruit or something like in the morning and then take it for like a, a mid-morning snack for him around the pool, just in case I haven't got anything out. Um, so that's also a really, really good one. Uh, I'll also be taking some books with us. Now I have got some really good search and find ones that are very suitable for very young children up to kind of toddler age. And then I've got some older ones that Leo has just started using. Um, it's actually called like a find the dinosaur poo or something like that. It was from the works. He absolutely loves it. Um, but I'll take that with us because he really, really enjoys it. And I will also be taking our fuzzy felt book with us, which I have shared before. So I'll link it down below. They're really not very expensive. They're an amazing gift if you've got any like mum friends, um, like kids you're buying for, because they're just, they're so entertaining for the kids and they can redo the stickers over and over again, make the little scenes. We've got the farm one, the dinosaur one and the under the sea one. We've had them since Leo was one and he still plays with them today and he's nearly four, so they're amazing. And we've still got all of the little bits, which is great. So I'll probably be taking one of those as well. But as I say, I'll link those down below. Now, the next little thing that I wanted to share that we're going to be taking is actually this shapes game. We were bought this as a gift. You can get it on Amazon. So I'll link it down below. It comes in a tin and you get some cards and you get these little shapes and you have to make kind of the, the image that's on the card. So I'll insert it, um, some pictures of it if I've got it down and then link it down below. Sorry. So you can see that. And then I'll also be taking a set of phonics flashcards. Leo really enjoys doing this at the moment. So if he's getting really bored, perhaps it might not even be whilst we're on the plane, it might be whilst we're on the coach on our transfer. I can just get them out, they're like a pack of cards and you can just um, flash them up and he likes to do the letters and kind of what animal it's for, like for snake and that kind of stuff. So 
um, that one is also a really good one that we've used for a couple of years now. The next thing that we will be taking is our magnetic kind of whiteboard thing. We've got the dinosaur version. I'll link it down below. It's from Amazon. They do a few different versions. We've had this for a few years now. It is perfect for restaurants. We've had so many comments when we've been out for dinner at how well behaved it is to see Leo like just sitting at the table and playing and also how sociable it is for him not just to have a Kindle stuck in front of him at a table. We don't really like to use the Kindle at a restaurant if we can like help it. We will try and take games and stuff with us. Um, so yeah, I'll link that down below and I'll kind of insert a photo here of Leo using it and the dinosaur magnetic board. It is quite big, it does fold flat, but it will fit into the trunky. Now the next thing I want to talk about is obviously a bit of a controversial one for some people, I guess, but it's obviously medicine. Leo does carry an EpiPen and Cetrazine for his allergies. So that will of course be packed in probably my luggage rather than his. Um, I'll also be taking some Calpol with me. Now for the journey, I'll probably pack some of the little sachets that you can get, like the individual sachets. And then in my proper luggage, like my hold luggage, I'll have a bottle of Calpol just in case. Um, what I would recommend is if your child doesn't have known allergies, perhaps and you don't have medication, is to take some children's Puritan. Now, I haven't really shared much of Leo's story with his allergies on here, I don't think. But when Leo was 13 months old and we were in uh, Turkey, Leo ha actually had his first anaphylactic reaction to dairy, which we had never seen before. And we've been told that his allergy was mild. Now, if I hadn't have had that Piviton with me, I'm quite confident that Leo would not be with us today because it actually did save his life. Um, he ended up having two doses of it um, just to help him be able to breathe again until we could get some attention. So it's really, really important. I almost didn't pack it, which is so ridiculous when I think about it now. Um, but yeah, a bottle of Puritan if you've got any young children or like the tablet form perhaps if you've got children that's a little bit older or something like that. But it's such an important one to take with you. And um, you can also pack some plasters, some like antiseptic cream, stuff like that. But to be honest, that's something that I normally put in my like main hold luggage. Well, that is everything that I wanted to share with traveling with a toddler. Um, so I hope that you like this video. I'd love it if you'd stick around and subscribe and please give it a big thumbs up down below. Bye -bye. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number.